The MJM40Z is one of the most popular MJMs that are built today. It's because of their fuel efficiency, their offshore safety, and the overall versatility and ease of use. And this is a walkthrough tour of a 2010 MJM40Z named Magic. Please take a look at this video, and if you have any questions about this 40Z or any other MJM on the market, please feel free to reach out to me using the information below this video. And I'll also provide a link to the listing for this particular boat in the descriptions below. So we'll start our tour with an exterior walkthrough. This is a 2010 MJM 40Z named Magic. She's hull number 14. And she's in very good condition. She has a black hull with a gold cove stripe and a white boot stripe. The hull paint is in really nice condition. You can see up at the bow here, there's some fittings for a bow pad. Non-skid is in excellent shape. One thing you can see is the paint on these window ports are bubbling up a little bit. These can easily be repainted, but it is something that the next owner probably would want to do. This boat also has been kept on a lift up until two days ago. Um, the owner, his new boat is coming uh, next week, so um, they had to remove the lift. These side windows have also been replaced. as have all of the pilot house cushions. All the soft goods have been replaced uh, just recently. Magic has a nice davit system as well. When you don't have um, the davits in use, these davits can fold together, um, and so they don't take up as much space. Um, but it is a great way to carry a tender in a nice, simple way. The davits also can be fully removed if you'd like as well. Let's hop on board and take a closer look. Side access door, of course, typical 40Z, one single level from the aft cockpit up to the helm. The only steps are the three steps you take to go down below. You have three doors, one on either side, which is at the floating dock height, and then you have a direct access to the swim platform as well. And the teak also is in very nice condition. Hasn't been overly sanded, so no action required with the teak decks. Uh, this table pedestal is for this table to move over here, if you'd like. Very nice and tidy. Walking into the pilot house, you can see the LED recessed lighting. And there is a tremendous amount of storage on this boat. Uh, I'll show you in here. Huge storage. There's your water heater and basic systems. Your generator, which has, the generator has just roughly about um, 500 hours. And I'll show you this storage compartment later. Uh, the stit seats, as I mentioned, has have been recovered. So they look brand new. You have forward here at your helm. Um, you've got a E140. Um, couple repeaters, autopilot, this is your um, Valvo engine gauge, trim tabs. Uh, this boat has the joystick docking um, and it also has station keeping, which is a really nice option. Three bilge pumps, generator start, and then over on the companion side you have the Raymarine E90 for your companion, and they also have a VHF radio as well. 
Um, here are some Bose speakers that uh, would have been a custom option on the boat. And now let's head below. So walking below, as I mentioned, there's only st three steps to go below. And to starboard, you have this awesome fore and aft facing dinette seat, which also does convert into a double berth. You have a privacy curtain that you can put up if, to give your guests some extra privacy. Um, but you can also close this door for the main cabin um, and then your guests would have full reign of the aft end of the boat. Um, you can also sleep two people on either side here. So you can sleep a total of six people on board the 40Z. And the condition of the woodwork down below here is in very nice shape. Hopefully the video can support that. And also there are some nice options with this particular boat. She has a diesel powered heater. So if you're cruising in northern climates, uh, you can have campfire type dry heat in the cabin and also up in the pilot house. Uh, you have two air conditioning units, one for the pilot house, one for down below here. Um, and you've got some nice uh, reading lights as well. Over at the galley, uh, this particular boat has dual refrigerators. Refrigerator at, below here and a refrigerator up on top here. This owner, uh, when originally specking out the boat, had this corner freezer installed where there's usually a dish uh, dryer. So that's a really nice option if you want maximum refrigeration on board your boat. Um, and again, you have three drawers that are very deep and more storage outboard. As you can see, the owners have removed their personal gear in preparation for the new owner. Electric cooktop. Of course, you have space for your trash. Then moving forward to the master, you have your Island Queen berth. Opening window ports here and here, as well as forward on on the starboard side so you can get a lot of natural ventilation on board and then you have four drawers for storage below you even have a little rope lighting underneath you have hanging locker to port and a vanity with a tv to starboard with a little storage below some power and then you have your shower. You may notice that even in the shower, you have your diesel heater. And then your separate head. As you can see, this door is your privacy door for the master. And then this door is your day head access and also access to the head for your guests and at night. Storage below the sink and outboard as well. So it shows very, very well. General storage. And then aft here, I'll move this carpet. It is really great usable storage as well. Looking at some of the storage space on board the boat, on the starboard side, you have very deep storage. This goes all the way down into the hull. And your fuel tanks are outboard. Tons of storage right there. Here's a view of the engine access in the fully open position. You have this large hatch that opens up electronically and you have um, great access to your pods for any uh, oil level checks. And then these hatches here open up and you can just do your quick uh, access to your um, dipsticks, 
you have your C strainers forward here um, and you can see how you have your oil filters and your fuel filter here as well um, but overall this engine space is super super tidy very nice these engines have about 1125 hours and you can see how nice uh, they've maintained this space these exhaust elbows have just been replaced and the last um, oils the last servicing has been recently done